Hello, this is Brandon Christie, president of Retirement Benefits Institute. I wanted to bring you an update today from the CARES Act and talk about some of the fine elements that could mean something to you as you plan your federal work and retirement life. Well, it was Friday, March 27th, 2020, when President Trump signed uh, the CARES Act, the largest bill ever written. And I'm sure by now you have seen several things about that floating around on the news. I'm going to break down just a few elements to help you uh, as it relates to you directly. Don't Also note that we have a lot of this information in writing on our website now. So uh, first, there will be payments. Individuals with income of $75,000 or less will get a one-time $1,200 uh, deposit. Also married folks, the number there is $150,000 will receive two of those. So they get $2,400. So checks in the mail at some point whenever the government can catch up on that. You know how long that can uh, take just to handle what comes out of Congress in a moment. So stay tuned for that money to come flowing in. Um, also charitable giving. Here's a neat little thing. Most of us ended up not getting to deduct our charitable donations because we would itemize when the numbers used were lower several years ago. But now that a for instance, a standard deduction for a married couple is over $24,000. The average American doesn't have more than $24,000 in, say, interest on the house and charitable contributions. So you haven't gotten to write, you don't get to write off any of that. Well, now $300 of your charitable contribution can be written off. So that's a little extra perk. Don't forget that when you're keeping up with your uh, receipts. As you give $300, you're going to get that as a deduction for sure. Now, the more complicated piece is the withdrawals from retirement plans that are now allowed. So I'm going to also put the words on the screen so you can follow along with me because this gets pretty deep. A significant change from the CARES Act is that 10% early withdrawal penalty from retirement plans will be waived if the distribution is a coronavirus related distribution and the distribution is not more than $100,000. Typically, if you're under 59 and a half and withdraw funds from your retirement plan, such as an IRA or your TSP, you are subject to a 10% early withdrawal penalty. Under this new legislation, the 10% penalty is waived, assuming the distribution is a coronavirus related distribution. Corona coronavirus related distributions must meet one of the following criteria. The account holder is diagnosed, a spouse or dependent is diagnosed, or the account holder experiences adverse financial circumstances due to coronavirus or quarantine related closure of business, reduced work hours, or being laid off. The coronavirus related distribution will still be subject to tax. Don't forget that. You will have to pay tax, but the tax can be spread over, you ready for this? Three years or you can roll the money back into the retirement plan during the same three year window. Significantly, the repayment of funds will not count towards your annual contribution limit. So over the next three years, you could be paying back that loan and still contributing to your plan, getting your match. Now, the limit for loans used to be $50,000, but for this, it's increased to $100,000 that could be borrowed. So don't know that I recommend strongly that you borrow from your retirement funds because again, the key word being retirement, you want that money to be there later in life uh, so that you can have access to it when you need it. But if there is a crisis, if there is a need in place, the government has allowed us more flexibility and freedoms to get those assets without having to pay a, a high price. Um, there, now, lastly, there is no required minimum distributions for 2020. That would be from your IRA, from your TSP, 401ks, anything. Uh, there is no required minimum distribution. Uh, that will bring some relief if you were having to draw money based on your December 31st balance of your retirement account. And if you've been in the market and lost money, uh, then you would be uh, having to draw a large percentage. So they've allowed us to pause on that, uh, that waiver. Um, it is available. So you, you need to look more into that if that's the case or give us a call. Uh, what We are here at Retirement Benefits Institute to try to bring peace in turbulent times. So we are here. We are available while we're working from home. Uh, for the most part, we are uh, uh, able to take your phone calls to answer your federal benefits questions. 
We've already had some folks saying, you know, I, I think I'm going to retire just so I don't have to go back to the office and be around uh, a large number of people because coronavirus is here. It's not going to go away today or tomorrow for sure. Uh, so if you want to talk about your numbers, your plan, we are glad to do that for you during this turbulent time. So reach out to us. You have the number on the screen, 877-864-1145, and we'll be glad to help.